What am I supposed to do? Shove my sideways. Um. Carry me. I ain't walking. It's just before 8 p.m. in Muskegon County, Michigan, where one woman is about to give police a run for their money. Yeah, have an ID on you. What was that? Leave me screwed over. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Hey, we need it. like it. Is this your family or who is it? It doesn't even matter. I should have never even went and got it back again. Okay. It's good. Are you just upset that you were smoking or what? No, I'm trying to smoke to calm down, you know? Okay. Won't leave me alone. Police identify the suspect seen here as 36 year old Courtney Morey, who allegedly assaulted a man just down the road. I'm all of a sudden not welcome here. Never wasn't welcome before. Okay. Whose house is this? Okay, I have you go sit right on the end right here while I go talk to them. Just don't want you to get hit because people can't see. Just go sit at the end of the driveway. What's your name? You have an ID on you? Okay. Courtney. Morey. M O R E Y. Cops are useless. They don't do nobody no more good. Okay. The officer leaves Courtney and goes to talk to those witnesses. Okay, are you okay? That's where all this came from. Can I see the back of it? What happened today? I don't know. This is the, the, the girl out there. Over, they live, she lives over on, yeah. anyway, yeah. he's been staying with from what I understand, and then, but in the meantime, he come over here to help this lady out with some brush back here in the, in the, in the front yard. Mm-hmm. Anyways, she wasn't, ha she wasn't, she wasn't happy, him, it took him away to, to ask him to help her work, help, help her do some work. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and so she, then, uh, I guess she was, Angry. She called her a bunch of names earlier today about this, about the situation. But anyways, well, um, I was in the house getting, getting a bite to eat. I look out the window and here she comes storming up the driveway all red in the face. But, you know, ready to go at it. And, oh, and yeah, soon enough, I got, I got out here and, and they're going at it. Unit 6 for 11, status check. I one time. All set. Then, um, then I, I all set, 2000. I stand back, it breaks up. Pretty soon, it tells me that he got the blood over there somehow. I don't know yeah. how Okay, how did the tussle, how did the... I don't know, she got pissed off at me, and I don't ever hit females, and she would have... ...up to you? Yeah. Matt, what was she mad about? Uh, this, yeah. I'm assuming you want to press charges for that. Okay. Unit 107, repeat your traffic. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to arrest her just because she did assault you, okay? I'm going to to the prosecutor. Yeah, yeah, she came over here and she started some of her plants. Yeah, she just missed them out. 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 The officer has heard enough and heads back to arrest Courtney before things take an unexpected turn. Uh, I'm gonna talk with her and see. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> when are you, Courtney? What? Two days ago. Two days ago. What? Okay. He's saying that you assaulted him. 
Okay. Thanks. Do you have? I don't know. Do you have, do you have any other family or anything? No. They have a baby. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Unfortunately, you're gonna be under arrest for assaulting him. That's that's verbal assault, unfortunately. <laughs> it don't matter because he can do whatever he wants. Okay. To me. But once I start getting a little irritated back, ooh. Okay, you just can't touch him though. It's the. Th so he didn't, he didn't mention anything about that. Of but. course he didn't, because he ain't gonna incriminate himself. Of course not. Okay. All right. I right, know. Okay. I need to stand up. Put oh, your hand. Dear. Put your hands behind your back. I'm Courtney. You need to stand up. Put your hands behind your back. You can't stop me. Like Courtney initially appears to cooperate with police before the officer tells her to get rid of something in her purse. Okay. So, well, if you can behave and put your hands in the front for me, whatever. I'll be cooperative with you. Okay. Oh, okay he gets away with what he did. Okay. Do you have anything in your purse? Okay, any weapons, anything? No. Alright, we have to take a look at it real quick, okay? Okay, you can't, you can't. So let's do it. Leave it here on the side of the road? I don't know, that's up to you. What am I supposed to do? Shove it on my sideways? They're gonna toss it at the jail, so. Well, whatever. Yes. Look at all my shit gets thrown away and I get. Okay. Are you gonna toss the? Where? What am I supposed to do? Toss it Lose in here. My... Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Unless Thanks, you want to see if you can leave it with them. No, they f***ing me. Courtney. All right, put your hands behind your back. Now you're gonna force me. Yep. Put Don't your hands behind your back. Put, I will put get your, in the car. Courtney, put the bag down. I'm not leaving my stuff. Not leaving my stuff. Put the bag on the ground. I'm not leaving my stuff. I didn't you say can't make me leave my stuff. I'm not going to make you leave it. Yeah, you take it. Me Courtney. You me too. Don't get away put from it me. down. Call somebody. Get somebody here. Get Put your bag on the ground. You ain't making me leave my I'm stuff. Not. Yeah, you Put are. your bag on the ground. Yeah. Why? So I can leave it. You're gonna make me lose my. Make me lose more of my stuff. Put your bag on the ground. You're gonna make me lose more of my. You're gonna f me too, huh, Popo? Hi. Popo, f me too. Put it. Put it on the ground. You're me. Put it on the ground. Why, so I can leave it? Are you gonna break my arm? Break my For what? You or me? Put it in. Put You're it gonna on make the me ground. lose more of my shit. This is my Put it on the ground. My Get on the freaking ground. My shit. Police didn't disclose exactly what was found in the purse, but Courtney is not too happy about the idea of leaving it behind. Let's continue. I'm gonna the pants Give me your you. other arm. I'm gonna the pants off you. And you're doing this to me? What's your name? I'm gonna the pants off you. Give me your arm. I'm gonna the pants off you. Did you hear that? Another officer arrives when it becomes clear Courtney is not just all bark. What up, boy? I got her. Poor asshole. Yep, I'm seeing the pants off. Shut up. I'm seeing the pants off you. Take a closer look at this officer's arm, where you can see teeth impressions after the suspect allegedly bit the officer. All right, we're going to get you right back to this body cam in a minute, but before we do, you know what we love here at Law & Crime? A solid legal ruling. And thanks to a recent ruling, one in particular, 
you can now legally bet on who will win the 2024 election. Yes, this is legal. And that is because our sponsor, Kalshi, went to court and won legal approval for election betting for the first time in over 100 years. So not only can you bet on the 2024 presidential election winner, but with Kalshi, you can bet on who will control the House, the Senate, who will win the swing states, and more. Think it's pretty timely? And it's not just politics, by the way. You can bet on other future events, too, like will Taylor Swift win top artist on Spotify this year, upcoming movies, Rotten Tomato scores, and there's a lot more. You're going to be like, wow, I can trade on that? This is the only place to trade on events like this in all 50 states. So you can sign up right now using our link, kalshi.com slash bclaw, or you can scan the QR code on screen. And if you're one of the first 500 traders who deposit $100, Kalshi will give you a free $20 credit. That's kalshi.com slash bclaw. Hey, Chris. I'm suing the pants off you. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Let's see y'all. Can't do this to me. I'm sick in the head. Do you hear me? You guys have like hands in Yeah, I do at my yeah, door. I got that. her. I got her. You need to get the food. I can't see that, baby. You know Stand up. I can't. Yes, you can. You me. I'm suing the pants off you. Yeah, I heard you the first oh. time. Ooh. Ooh. I know you, little Ooh. Yeah. What's your name? Courtney Mori. Courtney Mori. Oh, I do Mr. know Cox. you. Huh? Huh? You cops? Huh? Shh. the pants off you. I, uh, she's not. Yeah. 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 Courtney is sat in the front seat of that patrol car, but this incident is far from over. You can probably give that back to him. You know, you want to... <sighs> you there. Want a cage for her? That would be the only question for A19. You think she's going to spit on you and kick your things and. She might. 6415. Unit 6415. If A19 wouldn't mind continuing, we might need a cage for transport. Unit Hey, it's Hilgeman. I'll get a better look at it when she comes back out here, but Robert's got a pretty good bite. Um, you saw that right. That other patrol car speeds away, but that's not an officer behind the wheel. Courtney allegedly slipped out of her handcuffs and hit the gas. But officers are quickly on her tail, and the chase is on. 6-4-15, we're in pursuit of a patrol car. 6-4-15, pursuing a patrol car, direction of travel. Westbound, coming up to Moreland. Okay, Moreland. It's going north on Moreland. North on Moreland. Get after it. Stay calm, you're good. Unit. 
24. What's going on? We're running from home. Coming up to White. Approaching okay. White. 4 eight. Clear right, clear right. Go through it. So we might have a T coming up, so get close. You're not pit trained, are you? No. Okay. Keep going. Still northbound coming up to Bailey. Speeds are 100. A police report shows the chase reached speeds of more than 120 miles per hour before Courtney literally takes the road less traveled on. I can't see her. Looks like she is continuing west. Continuing westbound on 100. Yeah, it says it's a dead end, so we're crossing green on 100th dirt road. Number 100th dirt road, crossing green, possible dead end. Brakes, 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 brakes. Continuing into the woods. Keep going. Continuing into the woods. It knows there's a creek that crosses. We're gonna be down by the creek. Vehicle stopped. See if it's down near the creek. getaway attempt doesn't pay off as officers cuff the 36 year old for a second time
While those officers carry Courtney to a more secure patrol car, let's get a look at that damaged police vehicle. Right on the grass, right down the chute there, Don. Police said Courtney crashed through a fence before hitting concrete barrier, causing this chase to come to an abrupt end and leaving this patrol car with extensive damage. Back with Courtney, she quickly finds her footing. This is another troop and in the front. Next thing we know, she's in the driver's seat fleeing. <sighs> All right. This is one of your guys' cars? No. Courtney was booked for multiple charges, including fleeing and eluding, resisting arrest, malicious destruction, unlawful driving, and assault. Court records show she later pleaded guilty to the assault charge. She's expected back in court this winter to face the other charges.